away. Brilliant tackle. That is outstanding defence, isn't it? You thought Peacock was through on the previous play. They held him just short. And then to hold up Ryan Bailey as well, though. Was it Shannon McDonald who did most of the work? But you know what? We've had a, a, a rather slowish, I suppose, first 20 minutes. But you would uh, you would have to say territorially, Leeds seem to have control. Have they lost the ball? Yeah, but this will just give them even more territory. I'd like to see the tackle again, or the rugby tackle from Joel Moon. Looks like there was nothing wrong with it. I thought for a moment there might have been a shoulder charge there. Stuart, what say you? Well, that's what uh, Richard Silver just asked the, the video referee, Ben Thaler, to, to have a look at that. If it was a shoulder charge, it was very difficult to see. I don't think it was an impact on the ground. Well, that's where it is. It's impact on the chin. Yeah. Shoulder charge, yeah. Straight to the head. This could be an interesting decision for the officials. Is it the elbow? It certainly no, doesn't knock on at the end of that. No, it's the, it's the left shoulder. He never got the arm up at all, did he? There's very few mitigating circumstances there to find. I think he'll go for the red. He's gone to the pocket and it is red. Joel Moon is sent off at Heavenly. It's the second time in successive matches we've been here at Heavenly and we've seen red produced. It was Kevin Sinfield last time, of course, remarkably. And tonight, Brian McDermott immediately made his way down to the sideline. And Joel Moon. Because it was a shoulder charge and it made direct contact with the head, he is off the field. It's grounded by Wellens. Sinfield to Delaney, Delaney then hands it on. Here is Tom Briscoe's coming off the wing. Great ball out the back to Luluai. 20 metres away, Luluai is brought to ground. Aiton waiting at the dummy half position, gets it then to Sinfield. He goes wide to Watkins. Saints very aware of the threat that Watkins poses down that right hand channel. This is Delaney, they're switching the direction of this attack. Sutcliffe, Sutcliffe gets the one, and Sutcliffe scores for the right. Switch the play from right to left. And Liam Sutcliffe. Remember, this young man was out on loan at Bradford this year. He made his debut in a 22-30 home defeat by St Helens in May of last year. This is where the likes of the fullback Shannon McDonald should be coming on that second phase. Utilise the dummy runners. OK, they're going down the middle now. This is where he's utilised. He should be coming in, McDonald. He's gone down the right-hand channel. This is Louis McCarthy. Scott Brooks sends it over. St Helens get over for a try, a vital try as well. It all came about as a result of a repeat set that they forced. Trapping Zach Hardegger in goal and from the resulting dropout. Louis McCarthy Scarsbrook over for only his third try of the campaign. A try against Wakefield two weeks ago as well. This is Roby, and he gives it to Turner, who goes for a 40-20 himself, does Turner. And this, I think, is going to make it. No, ma yes. Yes, oh, yes it does. Oh. Hardacre tried all that he knew. It doesn't matter. It won't be classified as a 40-20, but it will still be head and feed because he touched it. That's well, here he is, the big fella, and he drives it towards that Leeds line. A great effort on the first tackle from him. Roby waits, and it's Lafranchi. And Anthony Lafranchi, he is pulled to ground by Ryan Bailey. Roby again, looking at the options both ways. Goes centre field, finds Soliola. There are four there to stop him. In blue and amber. Roby, quick play the ball. Roby! Oh, he's not given it yet. Is there a doubt about the grounding? It's a this is a chance for Saints. It's a big word if that Saints, surely they will not... They will not lose the opportunity to do it. Will they go early? Who's back? Who's Turner? Lance O'Hire is there, is he? And Turner is. It's back to Lance O'Hire. He's measured the drop goal attempt. And he's kicked it, I think. He has. The St Helens support told us that he found the mark with the kick. And St Helens hit the front. And what's more, they hit the front for the first time since the fifth minute. It just got there. It doesn't matter how it goes over. It counted.